published in March 2018 on vote buying in 17 Metro Manila cities. Um, and we find a lot of evidence that uh, vote buying actually takes place a lot earlier than during the election period. So it, it sort of supports Paul's view that unless you change that structure, patron client, the misunderstanding of uh, how government should be working for you instead of you working for government, some, something uh, that I, I think parts of the country, we, we have this still this misunderstanding. Uh, I think that needs to take place, right? The other thing I wanted to share is, uh, if you've been following the surveys, and as, as you mentioned, uh, it, it's, we need to understand where some parts of our population are coming from. If you just look at an issue like extrajudicial killings, for instance, um, and you look at the positions of class A, B, and C versus class D and E, it's not an issue of education, is it? Uh, I mean, actually, D and E understand that uh, this is not uh, basically protecting rights and this is not actually a good thing. But A, B, and C are behaving in a different way. Uh, so, so I think it's, it's up to us, the think tanks, the academics, uh, those of us in policy, to sort of un unlock this and un better understand what is driving this polarization. And it is beyond education. Um, <laughs> it, it's not a matter of uh, patron client anymore. There's something bigger happening right now. And I think this discussion of populism in other countries, um, that article by Professor Randy David that came out uh, earlier this week, uh, where you're unwilling to adjust your ideology and you're just going to reinterpret facts and evidence as they serve your initial preconceived, uh, you know, uh, views instead of adjusting to evidence-based discussion. Uh, how can you engage a person like this? You know, I, I think then it is beyond education, I think.